Another innovative ag program is growing in South Dakota. FFA students in Ethan are building sensory gardens and wheelchair accessible raised garden beds at the LifeQuest residential facility. It got started with a $500 grant from the state FFA foundation. Ethan FFA chapters historian Amira Yerke is passionate about helping people with disabilities. Her mom works for LifeQuest. My mom works at the shop where they um, keep them busy during the day doing all kinds of stuff, fun activities, learning, stuff like that just to keep them um, busy. Um, and she was talking about how they just didn't seem to get outside enough and that's something that everyone needs to do no matter who you are. That inspired Yerke to apply for an FFA grant so she and her fellow students could build sensory gardens and accessible garden beds for the residents. And I just got to thinking and in my head I could kind of draw it up like it would be so simple to make a garden bed that was wheelchair accessible and it just hasn't been done. Not only will the gardens be a great place for those in wheelchairs, but the sensory garden will teach people with a variety of learning disabilities about plants and gardening using all of their senses. In my past, I've worked with students with disabilities and I have found that if you give them something that they can hold, taste, smell, touch, that they remember much better. So that's where the idea came from. They hope to have the project completed by spring and the students are excited to be able to start teaching the people at LifeQuest through plants. This project is really important to us because, I mean, we're helping out the community because our community is so good to us. I'm just most excited to see the reactions from the individuals. I've met a lot of them through the time my mom's worked there, and I know they're going to be super stoked about it. Not only will the students build the garden, they'll help plant and tend it, but they still need to raise $1,000 to finish it. You can read more on these special reports in the next Ag Week magazine or at agweek.com. Thanks for watching Ag Week TV on YouTube. Make sure to like and subscribe. We put out new videos every Saturday.